Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord. Okay, we are back. <laughs> Main guy is in trouble when I leave this yet. <laughs> Right, welcome back, it's still Galaxy today, and uh, away from um, annual performance evaluation, mm -hmm. we're moving on to something um, equally interesting, and we have our guests with us here in the studios. We're looking at uh, single parenting and um, stigmatization. We have a gentleman and a lady with us here in the studio. Yes, and I'm particularly happy because um, I'm sure single moms, single fathers are all watching this with our category friends. Even the married do you expect it to watch this? We yeah. have in the studio. One who is uh, the founder of Precious and Pretty Moms. She's a lawyer and, of course, a single mom's coach in person of um, Adjola Eruguanye Ululano. And, of course, a life coach in person of Akinropo Akinola. Good morning and welcome to Galaxy Today. Good morning, Good morning lady Thank and gentlemen. Good morning. to have you here. Thank you for oh, having us. Okay, I don't know how to go about it or how to start, but then, well, um, before now, we know people don't plan to be a single father or single mother. But these days it's becoming rampant. And of course we know, back in the day as a girl, if you take in and uh, no man wants to father that child, and it becomes something like, it becomes like, ah, uh, she's a mother of one. And, but these days it seems like a whole There's lot a of people want to do. Uh, uh, okay, yes, after one. <laughs> after two, very sadly. Yeah. But these days it looks like some girls are damning the consequence. They don't care what stigma comes with it. They just want to live their life. Some are scared of marriages. Um, some are scared of being divorced. But in your own opinion, now you are a single mom's coach, and this is something you do. What would you say, or how do we trace the, what would you say is actually the incubate problem behind all this? Um, I don't think anybody actually sets out to be a single mom. Except, no, I some don't. do now. No, some do. Sure <laughs> no, I don't think anybody actually yes. goes out okay. to um, say, I want to be a single mom, particularly this side of the world, mm. right? But gradually, single motherhood or single parenting is becoming an integral part of the family life. Mm. So it's no longer same as um, husband, wife, children. children. Now, there's some women that say, I want to be a single mom by choice yes. mm. because they have, they're either tired of waiting for a, a man to come. Mm. They are in their mid-30s, mid-40s, and they just say, you know what time is running out on me? Mm. And so... I can take care, I have, I'm financially capable, I can take care of this child by myself. And they just damn the consequences. Now, those kind of women are actually more prepared than the woman who finds herself suddenly become a single mom. Okay. You know, the different kind of single motherhood, you become a single mother either by the loss of your partner, mm. the neglect, divorce, abandonment, rejection. Mm. Yes. But um, single motherhood by choice do better mm. than single mothers that find themselves suddenly become single mothers. And that's because the single mothers, a single mother by choice has actually thought it through, mm. planned, and is ready to just damn the consequences and just, I don't know. Okay, okay, what about in the case of where some women, uh, it's not just about uh, uh, suit is not coming right now, they just feel that uh, they want to be so independent, they don't need anyone lording over them. Uh, let, me, let me just give an instance, uh, the one I mentioned before we went on the break. Uh, I've had a lady come to me and says um, she wants me to father a child. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not joking. Okay. Yes. And she says, uh, like you said, she's independent. She doesn't need a man. She just wants to be a mother. A mother. Okay. I mean, I mean what would you say in such a situation, Aki? Well, uh, first of all, uh, let me correct uh, one thing. I'm not a life coach. Okay. I'm a parenting coach. Okay. Strictly parenting. parenting. Okay. But you know, parenting is the hub of nation building. Mm -hmm. It's the one at the center of mm -hmm. all the coaching crew. So okay. be that as it may, let me just uh, quickly chip in something now. I blame society for this. Yes. I blame society and it's simple because when you talk about single parenting, whether you're a father or your mother, four things are involved. You, the child, the society and the belief system. Mm. Do you understand? So, you know, I, just like what Shirali said the other time, sometimes ago, society gave them a stigmatization. Mm. They gave them a name. After one, mm. after two, 20, 25 years ago, you did not bring anybody home as a guy that you want to get married to somebody that just left or the husband left or maybe somebody just I just had just one child or two children. Yeah. So that's why society is the main cause. Now, 
considering the person that came to you, mm. that don't worry, I don't need any responsibility. Just so the person is seeking for a donor, yeah, right? Yeah. So society pushed the person to that level, to that threshold. A lot of things they're going through. I'm happy, Madam is here. A lot in this normal assignment that we're doing, we've seen a lot. I've had calls to cancel somebody that was giving up, even to commit suicide. Mm. Just on account of what? She got somewhere and they requested for her husband. And she boldly told them, no, she's not married, but she has two children. I mean, do they want her to lie? No, she doesn't have to do that. So they, what, immediately that thing happens like that, you know, they, they rejected her based on that because of what? Because of the perception the society has for them. So that's why they've now come out now to damn the consequence. So what? We are single parents. But guess what? I appreciate the women that are coming out. Mm. Guys don't come out. Mm. We have some guys that are single parents. Mm. It's okay with them. Society is so uh, lenient with the, guys. The single fathers, mm. yeah. Single fathers. Yeah. If you're a single father, you are, I mean, that's why the lady wanted. If you're a single father, you know, you're a champion. Mm. But as a single mother, wow. There's oh, a dent. There's a dent. Yeah. So that is what we need to do. We're still going to discuss more on society because I have come today to hit at the society, to defeat the, <laughs> but we still have to leave the, in the, the system. Society. Sir? Even if we have to defeat the society, we have to leave. We have to society. leave, but this is what you do to defeat the society, just yeah. to like, no, it's not to, just to harass them. Okay. It's just to okay? understand yeah. why yeah. is society behaving that way. Then from there, we launch a new one, a new policy okay. that will make society to appreciate, to appreciate everybody yeah. because a lot of things are involved like i said a child is involved society is not talking about what becomes of the children mm. they're only attacking the mothers they're only attacking what they perceive to be <coughs> their own belief then the children from the single um, the children so society society has never said anything concerning the children but the only thing they see is once they see you a single mother like this you're in trouble can they I stigmatize you, they do okay, everything sure, sure. against. Can I add to him? Yes. Talking about society, we're also talking about very insensitive adults mm. who they know that the mother and the father have a broken relationship. They won't come to you as the mother to say, what happened? They go to the child mm. instead and say, where is daddy? They obviously know. If you had a good intention, you would not ask, where is daddy? You would ask, how is daddy? Mm. Mm. You know, they ask the child, a child who is already traumatized, yeah. a child who is trying to heal from that experience. Mm. Or, in my experience, I'm a single mom, mm. I've had someone go to my child severally, my older son, and say to him, you walk exactly like your father. Now, that's, that's the truth, mm. but you, did, you need to tell him because mm. he's actually still hurting from the fact that daddy walked away. Mm. You understand? And so, oh yeah, it's the truth that he walks like daddy. But why tell him? Just but why so tell him? You are taunting the poor child. Mm. And then you're saying, no, he needs to know. No, he doesn't need to know. Mm. What he needs to know is that irrespective of the situation you're finding yourself in, you can still be a great person. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand? And then you find a lot of the time, talking about society again, a child misbehaves mm. in, a, in a nuclear family setting. Yeah. Nothing is said. Then the moment it's a single mother's child, they say it's because the father is not around. Mm. Mm. So the mother is wayward. The mother is wayward. Mm. The mother is incapable. If you know what mothers go through mm. to be a mad, okay, there's something we say in our, in, our, in our hub, single mothers or single fathers are mad. You are mom and dad in one person. Mm. And so it takes a lot for you to be a woman and try to fit into the shoes of a man. Mm. Mm. God helping you, if you're able to find men who can be support group to your children, mm. then you, you should applaud yourself and mm. praise your God. But where you, where you don't, you have to Google certain things. Mm. Where your son Getting comes knowledge. to ask you, for instance, mommy, what is sex? And then you, okay, how do I address this? <laughs> or a boy, tell, a boy child tells the mother, how do I pee? Mm. For you as a mother, you sit. For the man, you stand, there's a way you erect it. Mm. So you have to go and learn, or YouTube is your friend. You go there, learn how to, put, I mean, to train your child the use of toilet. Mm. And you know, so those masculine things, 
a, a lot of things that I'm happy that I, I know him. I know him from way back, but mm. I, I'm happy that I know that he's parenting because, I mean, we can do a lot with the boy children mm. together. Okay, I still want us to talk about the children now because, like you said, uh, rightly, uh, they go through a whole lot of trauma, specifically in their early years uh, when they have to go uh, to school and they, uh, they, they call for a, a parents teachers a meeting and they, sometimes the principal or the teacher would say they will go and bring your daddy and the child comes to the mom and says um, I was asked to bring uh, my father to school I mean how do you handle such situation? It's happened to me personally mm. in my situation mm. I go to school I'm very comfortable in my own skin mm. so I go to school and I told my children I am your mom and your dad. Mm. There was a time when I first became a single mom. To rent a house, I had to hire a man, <laughs> my friend. Mm. To go to school, I have to take my, my friend to be... But, I mean, some of those my friends are married. Mm. And they have their own homes. There's a limit to the kind of support yeah. they can give you at some mm. times. So when the chips are down, you find yourself in that situation. You've got to just man it up. Go in there, if you like, wear trousers like red dress just going there they can't tell you to walk out mm. in fact it got to a point where one my son did something in school and somebody said oh it's a cut you know daddy is not around and i said oh but this, if your bills have your fees are being paid mm. i said so if that is not around then maybe we should we, we should look for daddy to be paying the fees mm. and i took my son away from there mm. not because because that is the eye with which that school would keep looking at that child. You're not looking at the child as a child. Mm. You are looking at the child based on the circumstances that you know. Mm. And when you do that, you are judgmental to the child in your decisions. Mm. You also stigmatize the child unknowingly. Mm. Unknowingly, you just stigmatize the child. Because there are some things that you go, but they're all silly. And the only reason why the mother will walk up to you to tell you that daddy is not around as a school authority is because I do not want daddy to come in my absence to mm. take away my child, not because I want to share my private life with you. Exactly. Mm. Okay, but I like the part where you mentioned society. Okay. Would we say that the level of awareness is so low or is just that we have shallow minds who have refused to understand that um, there is an issue that needs to be dealt with? Would we say it is the role of the society or is the role of, um, I don't know if I'm right now, more as in your, your background now, what exactly, where can we pin this down? Who exactly do we fault here? Everything combined together. Okay. The society, mm -hmm. the belief system. Then the what will people say mm. if they heard this? And that's why I've said, I'm doing the talk about the society. While I received the uh, message, the text message, you know, I need to talk to some few single parents that I know that what is exactly, what are the problems that they think they're facing more beyond what I have seen that I've known. Mm. And just like she really said, she needed to hire a man. Mm. The same thing this woman told me, that no tenant, I mean, no, no landlord, landlord mm. will willingly give out his apartment to a single mom. To single mom. It's even more rampant in la with landladies. You know, it's that bad, even with landladies. Yeah. And you know, that's why I said you won't believe them. You see, when you have decided in your own mind, when you have comprehended in your own perception what you believe in your own right sense is the right thing, mm. once you have done that, then you have actually passed the judgment against the person. Number one, what led to these people being single? You never cared to you know. Never, yeah. yeah. You never care to know. Number two, you have never been in their shoe. The fact that it worked for you, the fact that your own marriage is working doesn't really mean, I no mean, you're perfect. perfect. Yeah. And nobody, like Shirali said, nobody chose to be one. And even when they choose to be one, it is their life. Mm. Yeah. Now, she lied as it is. The woman or the landlady believed, the landlord believed that, oh, I just needed somebody to be there. Just so that responsibility. That is why I come in now. Mm -hmm. We have seen some couples that are not responsible. Absolutely. But the society believe that once you are married, mm. you are responsible. Mm. But that is not the case. Mm -hmm. That's number. number two. When you see a child that is behaving abnormally, so to say in quotes, mm. and because you know that is the balance we use here, you know, in quotes. See, the first thing people will always ask is, 
who are the parents. Mm -hmm. And immediately they hear, oh, um, our dad is not around, his dad is not around, he's only, oh, no wonder, <laughs> no wonder. That is another wrong mindset. Mm -hmm. Number two, but when you see a child, you know, the parents, every one of them, they are available. Mm -hmm. They won't say no wonder mm -hmm. because of what? They don't understand who an orphan is. Mm -hmm. An orphan is somebody whose parents or dad or mom is dead mm -hmm. or alive but not, not available. available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you understand? So all those things we need to understand very well. You don't just pass the judgment against anyone that you don't know. And what you don't even have the right to. And at the same time, you are not providing solution. Mm. Forgetting that every one of us on this earth, we are created to solve problems. Mm. Galaxy is a reward mm. to some people that are not doing something right. Advocacy. What you are doing is an advocacy. Mm. So Galaxy now is a reward to single parents. Mm. Galaxy is a reward to the business world. Mm. Galaxy is a reward to governance. Mm. Do you understand? So who is coming out to be, I mean, to make a single mom receive a reward. Mm. You are a solution provider. Mm. I'm a solution provider. But guess what? There are some areas that you, are, you have upper hand that I don't have. So if I come to you, you have solved my problem. Mm -hmm. So I just want to encourage the society. Mm. Let us jettison mm. those bad culture, mm. okay. bad same beliefs. Because of what I always say this thing, I wrote something about it that culture, traditions, they are well kept intact mm. when new things that are progressing are added. Mm. You don't say because that is how it is it's been mm. 40, 50 years ago, then this is the era the same way it should be. No. Mm. It okay. is never okay. like let, that. Let us look at another angle now for uh, especially young and single um, parents. Uh, for instance, uh, we've had issues of rejection. Uh, sometimes uh, these uh, girls are uh, get pregnant uh, in their teens and uh, they had to go to the parents uh, who should understand them, you know, but just because uh, the parents, they don't want to live with the stigma that uh, my, my child got um, pregnant out of wedlock, uh, sometimes they ask um, the child to leave. I mean, how do you, uh, you know, help such a person who has nowhere or no one to turn to and, I mean, there's a child involved? No. Okay. Okay, let, let me quickly say yeah. something to that before she comes in. Yeah. Number one, we need to define what is stigmatization mm. and i've defined it to mean what the preset okay. mindset mm. preset mm. judgment okay. predefined and concluded action that this is who you are mm. so the number one thing we should do is to defeat that reality so in my own diary stigmatization doesn't exist mm. how do i mean by this we have seen some children 12 13 14 15 16 girls that are being raped mm -hmm. because of this devilish stigmatization because of what will my people say mm -hmm. or because that oh i have sworn or my people you know my friends anytime their children i mean their daughters are getting married i mean as a proud father i need to go to church i mean hand in hand with my daughter mm -hmm. so now because you have done this you have defeated that reality because of that i'm ashamed of you they keep quiet mm -hmm. instead of finding out who did this and get the person arrested? But because of the so-called culture, because of the tradition that if this house now is being said that their daughter is being raped, mm. I mean, the family becomes what? Stigmatized. Stigmatized. So number one, we, we should de defeat that. Once mm. we defeat that, then there is a well. Then the next way of that I want to say is, if there is anybody that is in this category, yeah. please feel free to live your life and have peace. What is peace? Peace is just the absence of inner conflict. Okay. Once you don't have inner conflict within you, you are at peace with yourself. Peace is not what people say about you. Peace is not the environment people give you. Hmm. The environment may be hostile, but once you have peace with your, yeah. with, within you, there is no conflict within you, you have a vision. I always tell people, I don't care what people want to say. I'm married, fine. But I tell people that, Marriage is not the goal. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now, I'd like us to talk to you. Since you're a lawyer, is there a legal perception to this? I mean, I don't know if there's a legal backing. Is there anything in the law for single parents? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except that you go to court and get custody of your children. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But in terms of even maintenance order, the men in Nigeria don't even obey the maintenance order. 
mm. and it takes forever to actually get um, to actually get judgment from court for custody of your children or mm. or, or to file for divorce. Um, the truth to add to your question yes. is that the young girl who gets raped or doesn't even get raped mm. but took a bad decision yeah. actually has condemned herself first and only requires your support to be able to thrive again. You've had families that have helped a young girl who got pregnant in school take over that child but tell that child I'm taking over this child that doesn't mean that you should go and get pregnant again and have given her another platform and the child goes ahead to become something great in life. That is because she's got family support. Now for single parents, single moms most especially, there is something in our society that makes your parents and your relatives be the first to stigmatize you. Yorubas, for instance, will say, Adelebo, there's no space in my house, my house for you. So even when you go through domestic violence, Stay dead. even when you go through life-threatening dilemmas, dead. they stay expect dead. you to stay there and work it out. And work it out. Mm. Now, they expect you to stay there and work it out and get stabbed and get killed like the young man that died in, in the course of the week that was trending on social media. Mm. They forget that, first and foremost, your life Matters. is most important of and you should not sacrifice yourself on the altar of marriage yeah. where you find yourself in an abusive marriage i say it i have zero tolerance for an abusive marriage when you find yourself in an abusive marriage please take a walk your life is more important mm. the truth is being married is not a meal ticket mm. being married does not take you to heaven it does not define your purpose mm. it only enhances you if you're in that marriage with the right thinking person. And besides, you have to even be alive before you can even say exactly. that. Marriage, yeah. So I find out that the church, you go into church, people are murmuring. They can't come to your face. They look at you, oh, the husband is not there. In fact, some churches, would, you don't even know the fellowship to go to. Should I go to a married woman? Well, after I've become single, <laughs> single, single mom. Or should I go to the single fellowship because I have children? Mm. So you're confused. And so, I mean, that is there. Then, in the church, the widow is celebrated. What happens to the divorced mm. or the separated? God, does, God hates divorce, not the divorced. Mm. God still loves you as an individual. Yeah. Yeah. No matter the decision you took mm. by whatever, God gave us a right to make choices. Mm. And so if you make a bad choice, it is your decision to walk out of that bad choice. Mm. And so society should not condemn you for walking out of that bad choice. Mm. And so where, even in church, people murmur. Oh, for me, I have a few friends who told their husbands, don't relate with her again. And I said, oh, by all means. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if I don't tell you I'm a single mom, you don't know. Mm -hmm. We go to the same church. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I carry my heels and my body very well. Mm -hmm. In fact, some people even still think that my husband traveled. Mm -hmm. But I announce it to everybody. He didn't travel. I am a product of the grace of God and of family support. Mm -hmm. and I remember that the first time when I, mean, when I called my mom to say I want a divorce. She just ended, she ended the call. And she said, what's wrong with you? There's nothing we cannot pray through. I said, no, we can't pray through this one, mommy. We can't. I'm in trouble. Mm. The truth is that. But I thank God that they gave me their shoulders to lean on. I had support group in church, support group with my friends. And so he helped me to, to come out alive. Mm. Now, not every... I, have, I work with women who go back. I've had to go and beg a father to accept his daughter in the course of my work. And he says, no, I tell you what, he said, you leave me? And I went and I said, do you want her to die? This was a, her husband used hot pot to beat her. And the father was still saying, you must have provoked him. And I'm wondering, my goodness. Are you, I, even some stepfathers would arise for their stepdaughters. How much more you who brought that child to the world. And because of what society would say, you want your child to go back. And I asked the man, what would you rather have back? Her cops? Or her being alive. Mm. And the man stood. I said, because if you want her cops, then allow her go in. Allow her go back. Because if she goes back and they bring her cops, I'll be glad to come and remind you that you made him. Okay, fine. We are out of time. But I just want to quickly throw this one in. Uh, let's make a case for the guys. You know, I don't know. It is rare, you know, for, for 
although it still happens uh, where a guy um, actually takes care of uh, not just one, two, three, three and um, how do you help such a guy? I mean, it's e I, I don't know. Um, most of them might think it's easier for a woman to take care of the children, but what about where it's just um, the father? You know, now she says something that you have to question that. Uh, what, is, what is the place mm. of legal system? And she said, there is no place. So for you and No, there's scarcely no, no place. There is, exactly. Mm. So that means we've uh, identified the gap. Yeah. And again, there is market in the gap. So that is what we should do and I should do. Mm. This is a good advocacy. Let's continue. There are parenting school, seminars, life mm -hmm. classes are there. So let's it's easier it. for the single mm -hmm. fathers because their mothers always take back the children. They're the father's mothers. Okay. The grandmothers, the grandmothers okay. take the children no, over. Because of the time, yeah. we won't be able to... Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> must, but yeah. I mean, stigmatization does cut through. Yeah. You find this in the hospitals mm. where they even tell you to have a surgery, go and get um, consent from the father. You have it in the embassies. Yeah. You want to take your children out. And then they say you must receive the father's consent. Do you understand? That is what you society have it even in immigration. is not tackling. All right, I'm afraid we have to go. Wow. We are completely out of time. We've been discussing uh, single parenting and stigmatization. Our guests uh, have been uh, Adiola. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have Justin. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> Justin, that's so bad. <laughs> All right, right here in the studio, we have. Akira Akiola, who is um, a parent. parent uh, he's a parent coach. Parent. Okay, he's a parent and so he also, he's also and the lead researcher, I, founder of Parent Mark and Parenting School. Exactly. Yeah. And also Adjola Erogwaye Olula now, who is a founder of Precious and Pretty Moms, a lawyer, and of course she is also a um, single mom's coach, if I'm yes, right. Okay, and before now we had Benga Ademujime, who is a certified life coach. Of course, it's always interesting right here on Thursday where we get ourselves together and of course prepare for the future. I'm going now. My name is Uchi Onyokoje. Do have a splendid day ahead. And I'm Justin. Uh, we'll return again 10 a.m. tomorrow with entertainment. Join us then.